In this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct a wild bootstrap multiple regression, which is probably one of the coolest named statistics going around. In this example, the dependent variable is earnings, and education and IQ are the predictors. Now, it may seem like bootstrapping can fix every problem, but the truth is that bootstrapping mostly just fixes the problem of non-normality. It's not known to fix the problem of heteroscedasticity in the context of regression unless you use a special type of bootstrapping which is called wild bootstrapping. Now in order to execute wild bootstrapping in SPSS, you need to execute two steps. First, you need to estimate the residuals, the unstandardized residuals associated with the multiple regression, and then you use those residuals as input in part of the regression analysis. So first step, analyze regression linear and put earnings in the dependent variable box an education, an IQ in the independence box. Click on Save and Unstandardized Residuals. Click Continue, click OK. Now SPSS has run the analysis. We're not really interested in it at this point. What we want is really just these residuals. And then we're going to input those residuals into the analysis. So click on Analyze, Regression, Linear. Click on Save so that you deselect residuals. You do not want to re-estimate residuals. But click on Bootstrap and click Perform Bootstrapping and change the number of samples to 2,000. It seems important to make sure you have 2,000 to get accurate estimates for this analysis. Click on Bias Corrected Accelerated, click Continue, and click Paste. Now there's a part of the syntax that I need to change. And specifically, it's this word here, Simple. I need to change that to wild. And then I need to write the word residuals equal res underscore one, which is that variable I just created. So that is the line of code that I need to change in order to execute the bootstrapping. Now one thing I'll point out before I run the analysis is that this line of code here is not really necessary. It's just saying make reference to the data set that's actually open right now in SPSS. You can actually even delete it and it'll still work. Next, click on Run and click All. Now SPSS will take a few seconds to execute the analysis because it's got to resample 2,000 times. So that will take a few seconds, depending on the speed of your computer. All right, so when it comes to bootstrapping and multiple regression in SPSS, most of the tables are not changed. So all of these tables here are the same tables you would get from asymptotic normal distribution theory statistical testing. The table that is interesting is the last table here, bootstrap for coefficients. And you can see that it says, unless otherwise noted, bootstrap results are based on 2,000 wild bootstrap samples. That's what you want to see. And we can see here that IQ is associated with a p-value that is not statistically significant. It's 0 0.098, which is now consistent with the bias corrected accelerated confidence intervals because the lower bound is a negative value and the upper bound is a positive value so it intersects with zero which is consistent with a non-significant result. By contrast education is statistically significant using the wild bootstrap technique with p less than 0 0.001 and the lower and upper bounds clearly on the positive side. So this is how you can conduct a wild bootstrap in SPSS it can be applied to data that are heteroscedastic as well as if the data were non-normally distributed.